Welcome back to ZM Jack. Today we have some Gunslinger Suicidal Verticality. Normally I would do three runs on this. We're only going to do two today. Because I have to keep it a little bit shorter. Because we have the, the stream coming up in a moment here. Uh, but this is the last KF2 video I have to record for the uh, for the weekend. And then it's just the uh, the two Yamajack tries and the one Gunfire Reborn. Although the Gunfire Reborn is fairly low priority since it goes up at three. So I have like lots of time if I happen to not get that done. Um, but, you know. This is a uh, pretty quick map as long as I do it right. Which is to say that I will do it right. Because I always do it right. Um, but yeah, we got the stream coming up in a bit. It's kind of really, really close. Because I have stuff to do afterwards. And we got like 22 minutes before the stream starts. So uh, we might we might have to cut it short. But I don't think we will. I think we can get two games here. And before... Uh, um, before the, the start of the stream. I think so. I think we can make it. We can probably make it. I imagine we can. I gotta find something new to read, man. Because I finished the, like I said, I finished the Mesmerizing Ghost Doctor. Or at least I finished the English translation of it. And I have to wait on, uh, on updates. Which are coming fairly frequently, it seems. But, um... I have to wait on translations for it. Um... Which is, uh, sad and disappointing, but... Is life. Gotta find something else to read. That one had like a, a tinge of romance in it, which I'm always into. It also had a strong female lead, which I'm also into. But I gotta find, I gotta find something else to read. Something else for my my guilty pleasure. I've been uh, doing a lot of AFK and stuff in RuneScape, and I need something to do as I do that. You know, you might say, hey, this is a good opportunity for you to go and. Um, learn how to speak Japanese a little bit better, and you're you're right. I should be doing that. I'm just not, um, because I don't know. I don't like. Uh, I don't have the. When I say they don't have the time, like I have, probably on weekdays, six or seven hours of like leisure time. But like, I need that to be leisure time. You know what I mean? Like, that that can't be work. Um, I get overwhelmed pretty easily. As I've as I've mentioned before, it's hard, honestly, living with uh, well, autism, I guess, um, and especially the way that it affects me. It's really like it just sucks sometimes. Um, I don't even know if this is affected by the autism, because maybe maybe somebody who does like maybe some neurotypical person wouldn't be able to handle it either. You know, who, what, who am I to say that uh, that neurotypical people can handle the workload that I'm taking on? Because it is a lot of work, but. Um, you know. Oh well. If you're neurotypical and you think you can handle this much work, or you don't think you can handle this much work, don't worry. It doesn't make you any less of a person. Um, or more of a person if you could handle it. Um, but, uh, you know, being overwhelmed so easily and, like, to such a huge extent is the thing. Because maybe, maybe people get overwhelmed, you know? I don't think people get overwhelmed in the same way that I do. And, uh, it really sucks. And, um,. Makes it really hard to do a lot of things. It does. It does. It really does. Cause um, they, I think I feel like when most people get overwhelmed, you know, a neurotypical person gets overwhelmed. Like uh, you think that they would have made their own things, not able to get exploded by the sirens, but I'm gonna give them some anti sound wave stuff, but they did not do such a thing. Um. But, uh, yeah, when, when I get overwhelmed, I just, I can't, it's like, I don't know, um, it sucks, <laughs> it does. You know what, people, this is going to be a controversial one, we're, we're, we're getting into controversy here. And, uh, to be clear, I don't think there's a right or a wrong answer to what we're going to be talking about here. Whatever your opinion is, that's okay. But, um, for me personally, like, a lot of times people will say, you know, um, if I had the opportunity to, like, you know, if, if I was giving birth to somebody or whatever. I forget what the, the name for this is, like, eugenics or something like that. <laughs> and uh, they said, like, hey, your child's going to be, like, autistic or something like that. And we can just remove that bit from them and just make them not be autistic anymore, you know? People be like, well, I wouldn't want to do that because, like, I want my kids to grow up the way that they're meant to be. For, for me, personally, as an autistic person, I just... I'm like... 
you don't know what it's like, so you, you can't really speak on it. You can have your own opinion on it, and that's fine. But, like, it just, to me, it kind of feels weird when people are, are talking about that kind of stuff. Because I'm like, you don't know how bad it is. <laughs> like, it's really, really bad. And, uh, you know, even though we can find happiness and, and live happy lives and be successful, like, it, it's it's always there affecting you, you know? I'm like, for me, I just, uh, I mean, A, I don't want to breathe. I can't. I, I, I physically am unable to, uh, to have children in the first place, so it's not even a problem that affects me. Um, but, uh, like, for me personally, I just... You know, if, if that option were raised to me, like I'd be like, yes, <laughs> get like get rid of that. I don't want them to have to, to go through that. Like, if the only option, like if the only thing is, is is you know your child is no longer special needs, then it's like my life is going to be easier because I don't have to put up with a special needs kid. You know, as much as you love them, it's more work. You know, um, it's a lot more work. And uh, then for the kid, it's 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 more work for them to just live. And I'm like, it's just everybody loses by, uh, by, by, by giving birth to a child that has, uh, you know, autism or Downs or, or something like that, you know, OCD or whatever. You know, like they're all. Can I even knock them off? You think? I, think I can knock them off. I bet I could. Give me a, give me a, dead time, please. Didn't get it. That's okay. Um, yeah, for me, it's like, uh, I don't know, I just, uh, I wouldn't want to put somebody through the life that I've had to live through. Like, even, even right now, it's, it's to such a huge extent affecting me in a negative way. And like I said, I can be happy and I can be, you know, fine and stuff, but, uh, it's just like, I could, I could be happier if it weren't for this. And I don't know, maybe I couldn't be, but, uh. To to me personally, the way that the way that I feel is that I don't think I would be happier as a person if if uh, if like autism were removed from me. I think that I would be an entirely different person who is happier than me, but it wouldn't be me anymore. You know what I mean? And uh, as as a as, as a child, I guess that's where it kind of boils down to. Is some people are like, I don't want to to change my child. Like I want them to to be them and and be happy. And I'm like, yeah, I can respect that. Um, I don't agree with it personally for for me. Um, but I can I can respect that, you know. Um, I have a uh, I have a red message. Um, and uh, I um, but ju it's just that for me I think that like when when your child is not born yet. They have they have no experiences, you know what I mean? Like they're they're not gonna change as a person. For me personally, I don't feel. Um, so, just getting rid of the part that would be inconvenient to them is, is in my opinion, a good thing. Um, not something we can do, but uh, it comes up a lot. And uh, my opinion is usually on the the more controversial side on that one. I'm, I know. Um, and people always get on me about it too. They're like, "Well, you can't do that. You know, you can't." You can't just do that. It's a slippery slope. And I'm like, yeah, but like we're we're ignoring the slippery slope argument here, okay? Like it's not it's not about that part. Um, okay, I have to respond to this uh, red dot. Ye, does it require my Discord account then? That's dumb. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I know that I'm on the controversial side of that one, but, uh... I just... People, people get so upset at me for it, too, is this the other thing? They, they get really upset, and they're like, you, like... They get upset at me for it, like, genuinely upset, as though I'm, uh... I'm like a monster for for, for having wanting to, to do this to, to, to a child. And, um... I just, uh... For, for me... I'm like, my life has been so negatively affected by this thing. I, just, I don't, I don't think it could ever be considered a good thing. You know, it's not, it's not something that I'm ashamed of. You know what I mean? Like, being autistic, I'm not ashamed of it. I'm, uh, on the contrary, I'm uh, reasonably proud of it. I'm, I'm proud of where I've gotten to, despite it. But like, that's the thing: is it is despite 
you know, not because of. You know, a lot of people say, "Oh, you're you're so good at this thing because of your autism." And it's like not really. Like, I could have been passionate about it, you know, just the same with uh, without also having to be consumed by it. And um, oh my god, it's like a husk wave here. Like, what the heck? And uh, it's just um. Yeah, it's in spite for me. Okay, yeah. Do I not have any two mil, yeah, nine millimeter? Oh my god, I hate these stupid husks. Get out of here, man! Get out of here! Stinking husks! Fine, I'll buy armor, make you happy. Anyway, enough of the controversy. Enough of the controversy. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't particularly care if you guys leave your opinions on the matter in the comments. You don't have to. If you want to, go for it. Um, but I don't, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pressure anybody into providing their own opinions on a controversial topic like that. I don't mind talking about it to a certain extent, so. But, um, yeah. Enough of the controversy. Enough of the controversy. I have given away my Xbox uh, Game Pass code to a friend. I told him to uh, to send me a sob. I told him that I wanted a sob story. And he's like, alright, I can give you one. He wrote up a sob story for me, so I'm happy now. <laughs> I wanted the sob story, man. I wanted the sob story. Yeah, I don't know. Like, obviously, um... Like, if we were to actually be doing that, like, it, there would kind of be, like, a slippery slope to it, where it's like, well, if you're going to be doing this, then, like, you know, you're going to you're gonna start taking away, like, giving them the beauty genes and giving them the smart genes, and it's like, where do you, where do you stop, right? So, like, obviously, if we're actually going to be happening, um, there, there'd be, there'd be more moral problems to worry about than, like, just getting rid of negatives that are, in my opinion, anyway, objective negatives, um, like there's there's no benefits to, to autism um personally i don't feel anyway if you have autism and you disagree that's you know your own prerogative i haven't i haven't personally felt that it's benefited me anyway um but you know like obviously if it was going to happen then like you would you would there'd be all these other avenues of uh of stuff that uh, people would be modifying on their kids and uh, you know at that point it's like and you, you can use the same argument for it right you like, well, if my kid's ugly, then she's going to get bullied. I'm like, you're not wrong. She would be more successful if she was, like, you know, more conventionally attractive. But, like, I don't know. For me, there's just something different about it. It feels more, I guess it's, uh, I guess that you can work on, on your, your attractiveness, right? Like, you can, as a person that's alive, you can you can work on, on, on making yourself more conventionally attractive. Whereas you, you can't work on making yourself not be autistic. You can work on making yourself handle the, the effects of it, but you can't, like, get rid of it. And, uh, I don't know. I, 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 I think that when in these kinds of hypotheticals, it's, it's you know, avoiding the, um, the, the slippery slope kind of stuff. You know, like, assuming, there, assuming all the other stuff was fine. You know, like, that stuff wasn't happening. It was, it was just getting rid of, you know, these, these rather objective bad traits but then people are arguing like well what's the objective bad trait you know like is 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 a missing arm an objective bad trait and i'm like yeah <laughs> yeah like you can't you can't just grow another arm you can't just undo that after you're born like that's you're done with you you're stuck with that um we're kind of really close for this time i stream in eight minutes Eight minutes. I still have to like set up the stream and like use the washroom and stuff. Well, I've got like yeah, I've got like three minutes. I have about three minutes before I have to be done recording, or uh, I have I have like approximately a minute before I have to be done recording, and then three minutes before I have to hit the start recording button, and then I uh, I kind of sit there for a while after that and uh, let it on the starting screen. Let people come in. Nobody does, but. Uh, it's there anyway. Oh, can I can I bounce you off there? Nah. Dang man. Where is he? I hear him. I hear him. 
I hear him, dude. There it is. See, yeah, there's like a slippery slope argument to it that's uh, that's valid, but I don't. I always ignore those when I talk about the hypotheticals, personally. Anyway, there's your uh, monthly controversial topic. <laughs> What was your monthly controversial topic? We got some Berserker X Peaks. We killed something with a Clovel. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like and subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. I have to go take pictures and then do a whole bunch of stuff. Ah!